It's a pretty morning. It is. It's Sunday. Morning. You've got a paper. That's right. It got really heavy dew last night. Everything's all wet. That's because you washed the car, silly. Well, I didn't wash the car all the way up here. Silly. But I agree. Still got a lot of dew. Sitting here on the end of the boardwalk and Gray is loving on me. She's curling around my waist. Very happy her mom's given her some attention. I'm noticing that for all the leaves down, there are still a lot of leaves up. I'm down here on the floor with you. Yeah, you sure are. It's time to start a new Lego project. Oh, I have yeah. a clean yeah. slate, a clean slate. I guess I'm not super enthused to spend hours since it's so nice outside with the weather, but I am. Last night I pulled the stuff out of that box and I organized into my <clears throat> two new empty bins. They don't look so uh, empty now. <clears throat> yep, and I got my clean slate, so I'm going to get started a little bit. So the whole idea of these modulars, of course, is that they snap together. There's two pegs and two holes in between each one. Um, but the one I'm working on now is a corner piece. So it's a little different. Instead of having the pegs and holes on these two sides, it'll be on a uh, 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 opposite sides. It'll be on uh, adjacent sides. So I'm just verifying that my holes line up before I go any further that the designer of this kit um, worked. And then back here at the back, um, there's a stairwell here, which is how you access the second floor of this guy. There's no access inside to the second floor. But the stairwell ended here. And then this was just sidewalk or I guess a way to walk through to the other side. And I don't know that my building would ever be able to make the real turn, but I'm going to build the stairwell two more pegs so there's no entranceway here. And I'm going to, I don't know about two attachments, but I'm at least going to have the one attachment here on the side of the stairwell. So if I ever did put another one over here, it would be, it would be right. It would be set up to attach. Um, so I can switch these around. I can put either one of these buildings in this spot to attach to this. That's no problem. Um, but once I build this one as a left-sided corner piece, of course, there's no way to ever come and turn it around and put it as a right corner piece. So it will always be a left corner piece. I, um, you know, I'm thinking that this, it, these are going to end up on top of the studio in the bedroom or on top of the curio cabinet in the family room. And, um, in either case, the side that you would most often see is the left side. So that's why I'm building this one there. At some point, I probably will build a right side corner too. Um, so this will be the storefront for the toy shop, which is the bottom floor and the main entrance, but it also has an entrance over here and a smaller storefront that faces what would be the other street. So um, anyway, I've got to start that, you know, you have to have the foundation right because if you mess this up, nothing else will be right after that. I'm headed out for my Sunday afternoon drive around um, before it gets too dark with the sun setting, it's going on three o'clock. I uh, took a minute to blow the boardwalk and the top parking pad here so I'm not tracking leaves in the house and leaves in the garage. Lots of pretty red maple leaves down today. I'm 
just driving around taking pictures of pretty leaves that are illuminated by the sun playing my pogo listening to a few tunes just enjoying a beautiful fall afternoon I entered a parking lot over here near the Teacher Ridge, a historic building in Fuquay that has a gorgeous tree and it's a pretty steep entrance so I raised my suspension and I noticed now that it's telling me in inches, <laughs> in inches, what standard high and very high is. Um, so I put it on high which it will keep until 35 mile an hour. I'd have to say this is an improvement so that's, that's good. Okay, way cool. So between low where I keep it at 6.7 inches and very high at 8.9 inches, uh, that's two and two tenths inches difference. Of course, as soon as I made the effort to pull in here, the sun went behind a cloud again. It's really not that late in the day. It's just really that um, cloudy kind of frustrating. Wow, we have all these extra Wake County government vehicles parked um, here at the library. Goodness. wonder what they're all for. I'm guessing inspections, but I don't know that to be a fact. I parked next to him and I was going to film a red parking contingent video but he came back with his stuff and took off did not look at me the entire time he put his stuff in the car pulled out nothing pretended I wasn't here <laughs> I was just there was one space in between us I just thought it was kind of something we need sour cream so I'm walking into Harris Teeter and I haven't been happy with the selection at Walmart the last few times so that's why Harris Teeter, because I'd always rather look around Walmart than go into just a grocery store, but I got my reasons today. All right, this is the cutest thing I've seen at Harris Teeter. LV. Elves being naughty. Model 3 at that house, plugged in outside. I don't know if you could see it or not. This is really close to our house. Of course, I said Model 3. Yeah, looking back on it, I still think Model 3. Don has Jules out. Um, he said there was a little bit of black stuff down on the sides of the car and he wanted to pull her out and work on her for about a half an hour and just do a little bit additional detailing that he didn't get to yesterday, including the black stuff that didn't come off easily the, with the, you know, the wash. I got a message, Tesla Fi said the front has been open for over 15 minutes. <laughs> so kind of told on him but I knew he's going to be out here it's nice of him to let me take his phone with me um even though he was going to be outside working although I have to say that I may have who knows I may have generated him a survey I'm thinking I probably generated you a survey oh we did yeah, yeah so yeah, thanks baby. for letting me take your phone yeah. even though you're out here I'm oh, you got music coming from, or a podcast coming from the garage, so. Right, yeah. I worry when, when you let me have your phone no, that you're not getting to listen worry. to your podcast. No, but I thank don't. you, that's very no, kind. Yeah. Well, I got I, stuff. I got your, your Amazon blue jeans. We're in the mailbox down there. Really? And my package. Huh. Yeah. We well, had a prime delivery. We had a prime delivery come to the house today, but another prime delivery left it in the mailbox. Okay. You get the black stuff off? Yes, it came off very well. I'm using, I'm going to put the um, ceramic hybrid stuff back on there in a minute, and then I'm going to put the carnauba wax, liquid carnauba. Sure. The, but uh, this super cleaner, it says it's safe for all surfaces, and I have to say it did a good job. Good. And which is it? Hold it up so I can it's see chemical it. Chemical guys. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, um, I've. I've used it on the white seats and stuff, it works okay there too, but really I got this because of um, some reason, uh, but not for, I didn't think for using the exterior, but it has something in it that dissolves oil and tar and... Oh, Crap, well. it doesn't come off easily on yeah. the wash. And okay. so I sprayed it on there, then I did the windows and it came back and I was very impressed at how well it came off. And uh, I quote unquote rinsed it off with the O and R, the rinse. No wash, rinse, and shine. And that's 
what's been rinsed this stuff off. Uh, not that it really needs to be rinsed, but like I said, I'm going to put the uh, hybrid waxes. I'm concerned this might have stripped the or stripped some of so the. So Don's waxes. trying Amazon Prime wardrobe. Yeah. He wanted a pair of black pants that yeah. fit since he's in a 32 inch waist That's now. Right. And um, he had four pairs delivered. They don't oh. charge you for a week. That's right. You get to try them on, and yeah. then they only charge you for what you keep. They give you a resealable bag. In this case, a plastic shipping bag that was resealable. They said, be careful opening this. They had a little... Sure, don't destroy the don't important destroy thing. That. And then each of the pairs of blue jeans was inside of another plastic bag that was resealable. And they gave me a little um, booklet... Uh, that had the shipping label and the web stuff of how I go and decide which one I want, and then the shipping label, what was the embo, what was in the package, and then a shipping label that I slap on the thing to send it back. So everything is all set up. So he's picked. This is the pair he's going to yes, keep. This is the pair. One percent spandex, a little bit of give, but still Just a pretty a good bit. shape. There were two percent ones he tried, and yeah. they're not going to hold their shape. No, they don't. That yeah, no. that would be a like. Just go to the next size bigger if yeah. that's what you needed, yeah, which he doesn't. Right, and uh, the other one uh, was the toss-up was the hundred percent cotton that had no spandex in them at all, and they were close. So I'm making chicken wings tonight, and I have found out, which totally makes sense, that one of my cast iron skillets worth of wings pre, pre-browned um, fits in each level of the air fryer. Because there's this is the first level, and then you put this pan in halfway up, and that's the second level. Problem is, is I'm going to have like a third pan. And... Um, They'd have to be cooked separate. Um, I always have in the oven at 350 convection bake, I always have two cookie sheets and one goes in 15 or 20 minutes before the other one. I guess it just all depends how this is going to work as to how long they need to cook in here. And I'm guessing it's certainly going to cut down by 15 or 20 minutes the big oven, but we'll see. I don't want low fat. I just want crispy or easier cooking. I did get some Legos today and it was these black slope pieces which are kind of hard to come by for that um that roof line up there so I have installed those. Now I think I can say I'm done with it except for I want to put flat tiles for the floor on the third and second floor and right now it's just gray pegs or black pegs or whatever color the floor was and um, I'll do that when I have the bricks order the bricks, whatever. I kind of, I, those bricks are hard to come by. It's these kind of bricks, these flat ones, so you don't see the studs. Um, and no rush on that, but I, I do want to come back and do that. On well, this. I missed it, but it said turn food. Um, 14 minutes the first side, 14 minutes the second side, which will be a lot faster than the big oven. Now, of course, I had pre-browned them, but still looking good. We cheated and we didn't really flip them halfway because I don't normally do that in the big oven and we probably should have. These ones on the bottom look perfect and the ones from up top are not burnt ruined. I don't know how it looks on the camera but let's just say just a little crispier than we would have liked them to have been. So we're learning that was 28 minutes, maybe 26 minutes is enough too. We're fixing to put in the second batch. Yeah, these are the ones from the bottom and they're perfect. I mean, they're absolutely perfect. So if nothing else, next time top the bottom them, maybe. Yeah. We flipped them the one time. Uh, I would say they're going to be out right when the guys are done with their first plate and ready to have just a couple of more. So we did good. That was three and three-fourths pounds. I probably need four and a quarter, and then maybe I'd be able to completely fill it the second time. Um, and Johnny might have some left over for lunch the next day. I haven't had an adult beverage or anything with sugar in it for 10 days, and we're having eggnog cheesecake ice cream tonight. I decided it was Sunday, and we were having something special.